The final report from the Pacific Pay Gap inquiry shows vast inequality for Pacifica workers. One of the report findings is, report findings is for every dollar a Pākehā man makes, a Pacifica man earns 81 cents, while a Pacifica woman earns 75 cents. The inquiry included a recommendation list to help close this gap, and here to discuss this is Green Party co-leader Marama Davidson. Marama tēnā koe. First question is, how do we close this pay gap? Uh, morena e te maraikura urini. Um, I think it's really important that there has to be equal pay for equal work and the outcomes from that report are unacceptable. So we really need to ensure and the government needs to ensure the Fair Pay Agreements Bill is passed as soon as possible. I believe it's um, just come back from Select Committee um, and that is going to help a massive deal in terms of making sure people are paid equally for equal work. But the Greens are really clear that the government needs to go further and immediately introduce the pay transparency legislation. Mm. Um, it's thought that by introducing the pay um, transparency um, legislation, we would actually make a massive difference to workers of, for example, um, an extra $32 or so a week. I know that would make a huge difference. And uh, as well as that, we'd like to see the minimum wage raised to the same level as a living wage. People no matter who you are, um, should be able to earn um, a wage that helps you to support your family. And so these are some of the extra things that we'd like to see as well. Marama, employers told the inquiry that, that the reasons behind uh, the Pacific pay gap are personal drivers and systemic as well. But many feel, and these are from the employers who told the inquiry, collective bargaining could make a difference in reducing the pay gaps and suggesting that Pacific workers could take collective action where possible. Do you agree with that? Well, um, Unions have always played an incredible role in getting fairness for our workers. And we know that through this inquiry, um, businesses and unions and community groups are absolutely calling for the pay transparency legislation to allow for those negotiations to do a better job for workers. And I think <clears throat> the main thing here is um, redistributing power also, putting power back into the hands of workers to be able to get a fair deal. And so, yes, while we while we know that collective action is always really important, we don't just want to leave it on the shoulders of workers um, having to fight. Mm. <laughs> we also, this is why we also need the systemic support in changing the legislation and bringing forward the Fair Pay Agreement Bill. Okay, moving along, do you think, let's talk about the immigration policy announced yesterday by the government. Do you think the government's got things right with that announcement, with that policy? No, it's really clear to me that a person's right to be with their whānau, to be with their family in New Zealand, I mean, come on, this is something that surely we can all understand, um, the right to be with your family in New Zealand, that should not be based on their income. And so the government's salary-based family reunification policy is absolutely blatantly unfair. Um, you know, while we welcome the lowering of the salary thresholds, the minister has not gone far enough um, to make sure everyone has the right to be with their family regardless of income because what you're actually um, saying is that, you know, we will value um, people who come here who we need to be working in um, those uh, fields with a high salary, but if, you're, if your loved one um, is here working in, say, um, hospitals or other important jobs that are not necessarily on a high salary, I'm sorry, but you're unable to be with your family, which is a very core basic human right. So we'd like to really see the government making sure that that fairness is applied, that it's not just based on how much you earn, whether you can be with your family or not. Marta, my final question, and it's about our tax policy. New Zealand's tax policy is ranked 91st in the world. What needs to change in order to bring that up? Oh, my goodness. The, the Greens have been um, thinking and talking about this for decades, that we must ensure that we redesign our tax system to be one that is actually uh, fair and equal with strong public services. So getting away from looking at tax cuts that are absolutely going to impact on our um, public services and a tax system 
um, that has a strong income support net so that everyone is able to live good lives, is able to live with dignity. And right now, our tax system is really crappy at reducing inequality. In fact, it is strengthening, it is emboldening inequality. And so, you know, we've always been really clear, one of the most um, simple levers to pull to ensure everyone can live with dignity, not just um, the wealthy few, is by um, bringing in a capital gains tax or a wealth tax. And this is something that we've been openly calling for for quite some time. So, you know, those are some of the levers that we've been really clear about and have solid policy on. Tēnā rawa koe. Thank you very much for your time and your insight. That is Green Party co-leader Marama Davidson.